The tropics are heating up. Not only are there four systems that the Hurricane Center are tracking uh, with regular forecast updates, but there's actually a fifth system that could become a tropical storm over the next seven days. I want to start out with the rainfall map across the United States. You can actually see the remnants of uh, former Hurricane Hillary bringing potentially upwards of two to four plus inches of rain into far northeastern Oregon. But look at South Texas rainfall over the next seven days. And by the way, the majority of this falls Monday night, Tuesday and into early Wednesday. We could see a nice bullseye of two to four plus inches between Corpus Christi and Brownsville as the next tropical system to make landfall in the United States moves ashore. That is potential tropical cyclone nine. Now we've been watching this wave for quite some time expected to move across the Gulf of Mexico uh, today and tomorrow. But the reason why it is called a potential tropical cyclone is because it does not yet have a closed low level center of circulation, so it is not a tropical depression or a tropical storm. So the hurricane center needs a way to warn folks and put those tropical storm warnings in place. So that's why it's designated as a potential tropical cyclone. So those watches and warnings can go into effect. Now, as the system marches its way westward very fast, 16 miles per hour, as of the 10 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, uh, it is going to strengthen a little bit. Thankfully, moving fast enough and not really uh, or running out of space, I should say, uh, before it moves at the South Texas. So it's not going to become a super storm or anything like that, but some heavy rain is on the way to South Texas. And uh, this system is expected to make landfall as a tropical storm. Uh, the next name up would be Herald between Corpus Christi and Brownsville early Tuesday morning with about 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. Again, the main threat from this system is going to be the heavy rainfall two to four plus inches, especially some coastal flooding too. You can see uh, the forecast models are bringing the system inland pretty fast. Uh, this is a quick hitter. I mean, two to four plus inches over the course of a couple of hours. Now for cities like San Antonio, Austin and Houston, there could be some outer feeder bands uh, feeding into that system that you can see a little bit of rain late Monday and especially Tuesday. But uh, unfortunately, this system is realistically only going to be bringing rain to far south Texas, maybe far west Texas and into the desert southwest. There is much more happening in the tropics. Of course, we do have those tropical storm warnings in effect for South Texas as the system moves uh, far or closer to the Texas coastline. We have one, two, three. There's the fourth one. That's nine over there. And there's the fifth one, that wave that is moving off the Cabo Verde Islands. Tropical Storm Franklin is expected to move across the island of Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic and Haiti uh, on the on Wednesday, the middle of the week. And then as it moves its way into the open waters of the Atlantic could potentially become the season's next hurricane. Just uh, east of that, we have very, very tiny tropical storm Gert, which is expected to fizzle out over the next about 24 hours. And we have tropical storm Emily, which was a tropical storm and is actually now getting uh, torn apart, losing its tropical characteristics. Uh, all of those systems are ones to keep an eye on, but there's also a wave coming off of Africa just to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands that has a seven 70% chance of developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the course of the next week. This could be moving into a more favorable spot to maybe have some sort of land interactions in a couple of weeks. But as of right now, the main concerns are with Franklin over uh, Hispaniola and potential tropical cyclone nine, which is going to become Harold. That'll be moving into South Texas Tuesday.